and welcome back to another episode of Age of Engineering with Bueno. Me! Yay! You get to put up with me! So, I logged on today to have a quick look to see what was going on. Well, I had to put void drawers on here because this stopped working due to being filled up with saplings. I wasn't pulling them out, <clears throat> so yeah. Now we have 62 and 64 in there, so it does fill them up, but it doesn't quite maintain at a full stack. Okay, I wanted to check, so there's 17 actually there. So, so and also I noticed while I was loading up getting ready to record this right thinking that these should be nice and full no they're actually empty because what's happening is the induction furnace and the heaters drawing a tiny amount of power so this is flicking on using coal flicking on using coal so yeah that's that's actually bad so what we can, what we have to do is either set it up so there's getting power well to be honest I just want to get rid of it because IC2 is okay with doing all the work in that and good for early game but for late game it's not it kinda sucks I yeah why I don't know if the music's running sounds like it a bit Well, let's hit next song. It's coming through very lightly. It's really weird. The Spotify used to be on. Okay, let's. So it's coming through. That'll do. About there. I like to listen to the music while I'm playing as well. Okay, so what we were talking about was fixing this so the power wise because we still have to get it running we still need the well actually we don't need the slag because it's here I picked it up by mistake while I was checking this out I walked over and I just instantly just went drink and I'm like whoops I meant to show I picked that up so and you can see that it's just loaded in no cheating so <clears throat> so we can go about this two ways we can redesign this again and have this actually outputting a redstone signal so it doesn't use when it's at full or emit when it's partial power or whatever it is the only problem with that is it's not going to get detected hmm see this is, this is what annoys me about IC2 they try to make it to real life Right, you lose power from over your cables, you know, you friggin... Oh, it's just rather annoying. So, I honestly think we'll just let that rot away in this room, and we go ahead and we build the RF1. <laughs> to be honest, I should just pick this room up and move it all the way to the back corner, because it ain't going to get used that much for a while. So, not until I get all the RF one up, which would be good because I mean it is a great first room but it's not going to really yeah help in the long run so hmm questions if I move it I can make another another house down the back there because I well actually I need to push out that way so yeah actually Hmm. Wonder if I have enough tick to actually run that. Just thinking, if I put a mob drop spawner down, um, because I need really need gunpowder. Because if I can get gunpowder and gravel working, I could just go and blow stuff up. <laughs> So, and I need to clear all that out. I guess I could make an, uh, a tool forge. Let's see. So 
So I can do dense steel, and that's it. Dense steel with three seared, which I actually can maybe. Yes. Um. Uh, nine, eighteen, twenty-seven. So that should give me the three. No, it's four still, isn't it? Crap. Um. Uh, thirty-six. So I need three more. I can get working on those ones. So. Uh, that's right, isn't it? Because it's nine in the compressor. So let's just whack all them in there and let that start compressing. So, and the other thing is I could add solar and then in an emergency use coal with a switch or something. Because hmm, I can get this to output emit if full, emit if partially filled filled or empty and then if empty so I can get that to emit if empty which would send a signal out the back which the piping would be in the way so this is why you need just a generation room to work around instead of having all your machines in with it but I was trying to save some space so and these things aren't quite putting an half out for those ticks so they're always low and especially since I started actually using machines it's eating your power so and it's not that hard to do solars well I'll need to do quite a few solar panels though because I want to make two of the HVs uh, second, uh, first compact ones so we'll just wait for this to roll so we already got one in there we can actually make the thing now. I really just need to sort some stuff out. <clears throat> Think about what I'm doing. Oh look, there's some steel plates there. So we are actually good. So let's just dump all this in here. Now, I didn't want to put these in this chest, but I'll have to. I'll put the slag in because I need a lot of nether. Okay, so what I'm Okay, so we need to focus. Focus on something, because what we're doing is just running around like a headless chook. So, if we focus on just making crap. I really want to move this now. Because I like my RF and I... yeah. But if I'm going to remove all this, do all the outside of it first, level all the outside then pull the wall down and then move it in just one big jump so and I'll need glowstone too so okay so that's what I might do so this will be changing episode to expanding because I really need to expand it because yeah I've, I've dug out a nice little area over this way but I want my building sorted out a little bit better and there's not enough room this way so, and then I'll have to dig into that, and I didn't want to really dig into the village. I wanted to really fix the village up to have more spawns come back, and yeah. So, we will do that. We will dig out all this, so it will turn into another digging episode, because that's how I'm going to roll. And... I really want to move these as well, but that means a whole entire rebuild. I'm moving back into the corner because then I can do blast furnaces, an IC2. Because IC2, you only really mainly use it for the plates, and yeah, you need more than that. You need like three of these because you'll be doing that many of them. And this thing is out of power, so it's drained so much power already, it's not funny. Okay, so... So we're waiting. Okay, 
let's make sure I have seared bricks. I do. Let's make sure I can, oops, make sure I have three seared bricks, which I do. I have a willing tool station to be manipulated into becoming evolving evolve your tool station today yeah let, let's work out a reference uh, Pokemon reference so that's 32 and now we need to compress all that I know we need a little bit more So you know, with all this set up currently, it's generating power and absolute being absolutely absolutely wasted. So, and I always like the look of the water mills, but I end up moving them or actually getting rid of them once I start getting my other forms of RF power up and running. So, which you have different types. So that's draining power wicked ways. And there are all our plates. Wow, that actually went really quick. And there we go. Our tool station is getting an upgrade or an evolve. So we get the extra stuff. Okay, so here we go. We want to make one of these. And since it has four patterns, we can do four different materials if we want. So, we can add extra binding. We will need the tough binding. We will need this one, and this one, and one. So before new patterns, so no. So this gives it the writable ability, and then we need definitely more stone. So because we need to make them into casts. Okay, so we want. I actually want to use. Uh, I need a lot more than that. So, actually. Nope. Okay. How much I needed. So that should give us enough for the pattern. This will give us automatic regen on it when we actually are just holding it. So and only required one wood. Oh, okay, I thought it would quite no three. Okay, so that one's been done. The next one we need is this one. So the excavator head and this one. Now we grab four coal, not coal, clay, if I've got clay still lying around. Or did I turn it into casts? Not casts, god damn it hardened one for the thing, which I think I did. Which is okay, because we can just go get some more. And... I know Urandia's somewhere. Oh, I think it was there. 
But there's more around the corner. There's some. Do, 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 do. Oh, quickly grab some air. Okay, there we go. A quick little hustle has given us like a stack. Okay. So, bigger and better tools. We probably could get, if we, no, because this is still usable. I was thinking axe and the shovel. But if we get the uh, excavator, then yeah. So what we want is we'll snag that and we'll snag in four of them, which will give us our casts. And the fuel that will, I mean, the pl one will be, uh, I wanted cobalt. Where is that? Ah, oh, it would have gone into my bag. Wrong one. That one. So, which I have plenty of. So, uh oh, I just realised. I left this on. Push that back into it. And I think I might leave a faucet over here. I know where it is, but. <gasps> now. So we want cobalt excavator or the no the head and what do we want for the head? Because if we do ardite, what does that do? Uh, it doesn't actually. Stone bound, so eats all the stone, instability, copper, well established. That gives it more durability. What's that? But that's 360, 780. So if I do the head in that, but if you use the large plates, okay, let's quickly run through the large plates. Ecological, cheapskate, no flint. I don't want any of these. Bone, obsidian. What does obs? Durite. Durability is 90. No head. Extra 90. So that's what we're looking for is the extra. So that's aquamarine. 42. So we want a nice big firewood. 150 durability. Really? Pig iron 170. Uh, night slime. Wow, slime plate is 350 durability. Damn. See, cobalt is 300. Ardite, 450. So we might be going with Ardite. Because I want the biggest... Yeah, so Ardite it is. Uh, do I even have any Ardite? Yes but only eight. So we're going to have to break it down. So... Oh, there we go. We got our heads. We got Ardite and that. Actually, did I see Manulin? I did. And that was only 50. Damn. So we're going to do uh, the head as... Let's minimize 
minimize it, or not minimize it, but make it easier. The manual in head is 820, but what I was after, 780, so, wow, that is insane. What is instability, though? 780, so the, it's a hell of a high attack speed. I'll have to get the manual out and see what it is. Problem is, I don't know where the manual is. Uh, it's around here somewhere. There. Okay, so we want tool materials. We want that as a head during combat. Ah, so it's a combat. Ha! Huh. Well, that insane attack. So I might make a manual and head, but how much is the. Material cost for it. Eight. Yeah, so I think I might just go with one that I was thinking of. Oh, I want to do. It'll be a little bit. So, Ardor and Cobalt. So, this wants to be. Yeah, so I, I want to rearrange my whole entire area because it's it's rather small, but I do have a village. But I wanted to keep the village as is and just fix it up, and then expand out this way for myself. And then I have a nice area. All my power generation I usually have underground. Um, so I don't know. I don't know why I picked that up or why I do it. It's really weird. Wow, it's nearly half an hour. Mm -mm -mm. There we go, so we do the Ardite ingots. And I need to do my better power. But yeah, I just realised I should have I should have built that down the back there. So but it'll make me run everywhere. Oh, yeah. This is not going to be fun. And there is our cast gone. And we got this one, whack this one, do this one. And this one is 8 as well. So with the rideable, I can add speed. So it will go more insane. this was working see it keeps up to it keeps up but it's not quick enough it's yeah I thought it would have kept up but this thing over here is keeping it on that's goddamn raining I wonder if they have the rain shield in this no oh, we got rain sensor that's a good idea if raining kill everything Are you cooked yet? There we go. See, with these ones where you make the permanent ones, it's... yeah. It was a little bit of waste, but I made aluminium with the aluminium brass. Because you only really make one set of tools. And with this one, you quickly switch over to the drill. Okay. I don't know what this is going to turn out to look like. Never really made one like this. So the plate, the head, that and that. And then we're going to go, oh, that looks pretty cool. 
Uh, Wainos. Xav, yeah, that sounds all right. So this will, this should smash out. Uh, oh, we can sleep. It should smash out nice large areas and quickly. So I don't have the all the dr drill stuff yet. So I've kind of, yeah. Okay, so this is our main level. And I don't have any dirt. So that's pretty slow. Let's whack some redstone on it. So that. Speed is 5.81 now. And there's still some right other writing on it that I can do. Let's go test. Oh yeah. Little bit quicker now. This will help out. Okay, so if I want to eat, go straight up like this. Hello. Now, the problem is, is how big. I think I might just from that wall actually. So, nope. There we go. So if we do from down here. So what I usually do so this thing's slow until you get the drill upgrades. I don't know how far to go this way either. See that is a huge area. I think oh, that that might do for now. Cause you think about that, that's that's gonna be huge. So now I would make a hammer but there's no point because of this. All I wanted was to push this along. So Okay. So I have to deal with all this rock. Oh, well, that's wrapping up point in time. So we, we did some small updates.
So we got tool forge, we got a new tool, and <laughs> really about it. Nothing else. Too much, too much time on our hands. So anyway, thank you for watching this really, really boring episode. I'll probably name it something along the lines of I don't know what I'm doing, but we do now. <laughs> Oh, excuse me, I had to sneeze then. So, thank you for watching. Um, and yeah, I'll see you later. I will record the next episode. It will be a dig episode. And it is um, optional to watch like usual. So, yeah. Okay, so, laters and have fun.